So before this winter started, I had 13 of these pallets of wood and then now I only have two left. So that means that I've used 11 of them and it's been a stable cold winter. So I've been using firewood uh, almost every day, but there's still some winter left. So I'll probably use these two as well. So 13, 14 pallets of wood may be my number to keep me warm during the winter. And with electricity prices being at a record high, uh, this has most definitely saved me a lot of money this year. Now this wood was actually given to me by uh, Armand, a friend up the street. He had some trees uh, that were already dead and, uh, and dry when we cut them down. But I need to start the production of next year's firewood uh, so that it has time to dry this summer. And it seems like I'm having help uh, cutting down those trees already. We learned in the previous video that I have beaver. So in today's video, I want to see if he's actually helping me out or if he's uh, just doing a lot of damage. So I want to take a tour around the farm to see if we can find this beaver or at least see where he lives. So this I can't blame on the beaver. Uh, this is actually water buffalo. They used to scratch their heads and their horns against these trees. And this weakens the trees. And sometimes we have quite large uh, winter storms and uh, these trees has just been taken down by the wind. And that's also why I'm not considering a polytunnel for a greenhouse. You know, the ones with the plastic on it. With these storms, I. I really don't think that the plastic would uh, hold. The plan is to have vegetables in there in the summer and uh, maybe some chickens in the winter. But what we really don't want in the middle of the night is that the roof over the chickens uh, moves to another county. But I don't have any experience with it. Maybe it would work. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm up for the, um, the excitement. So this is clearly a beaver and uh, I gotta say I'm pretty amazed. They say that uh, one beaver can take down this tree in 20 minutes. I'm not sure I, I'm not sure I even could do that with an axe. Seems like it's all over the place and that he prefers the birch. And it's in all this area, uh, just chop the branches right off. So that should mean he lives not far from here. I mean, it's all over. I just realized I don't know anything about beavers. Whoa. Okay, so I learned that the beaver makes their homes with branches and stuff they get from the ground often and almost always near the water. Uh, so what we would look for is like uh, just a bunch of branches that are put on top of each other. So a beaver eats leaves, uh, bark and twigs, but they can't climb trees. So instead they just take the tree down and then they can go and take all the twigs and the branches to eat and also build their lodge. Uh, and you can just see how they're just clip the twigs off. Seems like if I just clean this up, I'll have firewood for the whole next winter. Also not beaver, this is uh, water buffalo. I could, I could start a game show called uh, beaver or buffalo. So this one he just started but didn't bother to finish. This is also the one of the first non-birch. Maybe he just didn't like the taste. If he keeps this up, I will guess I'll be out of birch in no time. And that means that I wouldn't be able to tap any birch sap. 
uh, and that's okay because it tastes like because I'm starting to think that maybe this area could be a nice fit for the lodge uh, I've read some and it doesn't have to be a bunch of branches on top of each other they can also make their lodge into the ground next to water and there's and there's a lot of wood and branches and leftover twigs I'm thinking if I were a beaver and this was all covered with ice before I go to bed I'll have a late night snack or a early morning snack they are probably nocturnal and maybe sleep during the day so this is all the leftovers done with the snack don't bother to clean up and just go to bed down in here and then up in one of the caves or somewhere safe so they're safe from predators predators that's a hard word for us Norwegian predators predator predator Pre predators predator predator it's also the only place where the ground isn't covered with grass uh, it's just mud and twigs what do you say any beaver experts out there could this be it So I'm all for wildlife and wild animals, but when they start to destroy and damage my stuff, I kind of feel like I need to protect it. Same thing with uh, with the fox. When the fox comes and eats all your chickens, wouldn't you take the fox out or would you just capture it and send it to another county? I don't know if, uh, if you eat beaver, uh, maybe the tail is edible or the whole animal. Uh, I, I do think that Davy Crockett has a hat made of beaver, uh, but if you eat beaver, I'm not sure. Because you eat beaver, or maybe not you, but you can eat beaver, often it's the tail that is used. I'm gonna keep my eyes open and see if I can spot him. Uh, maybe he's moved to, to somewhere else. But if he's still around, I definitely have to do something. And the hunting season for beaver around these parts uh, is until April 30th. So uh, we still have some time. I do made this uh, sign for him. So I'm gonna put that up on trees around down by the river and uh, see if that results in anything. And uh, if not, we have to reconsider. If you're a beaver expert and have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. I'll keep you posted and I'll see you in the next one.